the first key and the seven keys to comprehension is to visualize. What does it mean to visualize? It means to make a mind movie to paint a picture of a story in your mind. It is like your mind is seeing a movie but you can smell, taste, feel, hear and see it. So, it is like having a movie screen in my mind. That is correct. Just picture what is going on in the story that you are reading. As you read, just visualize a movie of the words you are reading. Key number two is make a connection. This means that you relate the story to what you know. Make a connection? How do I do that while I am reading? You can make a connection in one of three ways. Text to self, text to text, text to world. That seems really difficult. How would I do that? Let's look at each of the three ways to make a connection. The first way to make a connection is text to self. Let me guess. Is that when you make a connection to yourself? Yes, you are right. You think about something in your life that is similar to what is going on in the story that you are reading. This helps you make a connection to the story. I understand that connection. But what about the text-to-text -text connection? The text-to-text -text connection is where you find a connection between what you are reading and something similar that you have previously read. Oh. So if I am reading a story about a baseball game, I just think about other stories that I have read about the same subject matter, baseball games. Yes, it is just that easy. The third way to make a connection with what you are reading is text to world. Is that where the world gets to read the funny stories that I am reading? Ah, uh, no. That would not be a text to world connection. You must think about what you are reading and how it relates to the world. How does the text connect to the world? This one seems a bit more difficult. It really isn't. While you are reading you think about things that are going on in our world or around you that have some kind of a connection to the story. Would this be a good example? If I were reading a story about schools, then I could think about what I know about schools or about schools in another city. Now you have the right idea. You could also think about something you learned that is happening in another school. We learned that schools in India have to be open for students 8 hours each day. That means kids are in school for 8 hours. That is a long time. That is a good example of making a text to world connection. You just have to connect what you are reading to something related in our world. This is my favorite key because you get to do a lot of thinking about the story you are reading. Let's talk about key number three. What is key number three? Key number three is called questioning. This is where you as the reader ask questions while you are reading. You can ask questions like who, what, when, where, why, how. Do you mean that I can talk to the story I am reading? Absolutely. Yes, you can talk to the words you are reading. Ask yourself, who is in the story? What are they doing? When did this take place? How is this going to happen? I could even ask why did the main character do that silly thing? Would that be an example of asking questions? You are getting the hang of this key. It is fun to read something and think about how it relates to your life and ask questions of the story. But won't people think I am silly if I start talking to my book? Well, you ask these questions in your head. You don't have to ask them out loud so that everyone will hear you. But, you can ask other people about the story. So, if my best friend is reading the same story as I am then I can ask them questions about it? Certainly. That is just one way of using key number three. Ask questions, you will understand what you are reading much better if you do. You have been a big help to me while I am trying to understand the seven keys to comprehension.